Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Damsels in Debate podcast. Halloween edition. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, haven't already guessed. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's kind of kind of weird. We usually do this on the weekends, but because this week is a little funky, we're actually recording this uh, Halloween night, late Halloween night. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, if you haven't figured it out yet, I am your host, Tina. And I'm your co-host, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> so happy Halloween, Vanessa. Happy Halloween, Tina. <laughs> um, we had some good costumes this year, I think. Mm-hmm. We got both of them came out pretty good. We'll post pictures later. On Facebook, so everybody can see what we look like. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yes. I haven't had any chocolate yet, though. I don't know what the deal is there. I'll try to have some tomorrow. But yeah, not getting my chocolate fix. <laughs> I had some because uh, I didn't have breakfast this morning, and a coworker <laughs> had a bowl of it. So I was like, well, this is going to be my breakfast. So mm. I had like a Babe Ruth and a, well, not a full bar, you know, a right. fun size. So I was like, oh, that sugar will hold me over. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds good. Delicious. And man, I am so glad tomorrow's Friday. This week. Yes. Um, uh, you know, we put the pa- podcast up early, or not early, late, <laughs> actually, this week. <laughs> this one's early. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I didn't get, I was supposed to go to the movies twice this week, and I didn't do it. This week's just been really bad for mm-hmm. me, so I'm very, very happy tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, well, I guess let's get right on into it, get into the uh, Halloween shit. All right. <laughs> so, let me see here. So, yeah, neither of us saw any new movies, but... Oh, we had our cues, our last movies uh-huh. from our, our horror movie yeah. queue. Yay. I know you're happy. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm sick of this, uh, all these scary movies, the gore Aww. and stuff. <laughs> all right. Well, what did you watch? I watched Paranormal Activity 2. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you'll watch the third one some other time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I couldn't, because I'd watched it, like, it, it, the, the only other opportunity to watch the third one was the following night, and I was like, nah, I'm not in the mood to watch another one of these movies. Yeah, and you have to be in movies. the mood, yeah. so, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so what did you think of it? Uh, I thought it was good. I liked mm-hmm. how it tied it into the first one. How, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, and these, spoilers, by the way, for these movies. I know it oh, matters yeah. for these Spoiler ones, alert but we're going to say it anyway. For everything that we're going to talk about. <laughs> how at the very end, Holly's, oh, Oh, I'm gonna give it to the sister, blah blah, and then they showed mm-hmm. clips from the first movie. Right, it's like yeah. okay, that's that's nicely tied up and wrapped and given as a gift. <laughs> yeah, know, but, yeah, yeah. But what really bothered me is that um, I understand you have to have the build up as so day one, and it had like something moved slightly or something like uh-huh. that, and it, it like the the first half of the movie was really slow for me right and like i understand they can't go right into the ghost stuff because mm-hmm. you got to have the whole this happened to me like oh it's just the house settling it's just the wind the like, build you up, have to yeah. have yeah the build up but it had too much build up i think because mm, i was okay. sitting there like okay i'm waiting for something else to happen and you're sitting there waiting because you hear the like the, yeah. the bass or yeah. something so you know mm-hmm. something's about to happen but um i did like like the one part that really like made me jump was when the um <laughs> The, the wife part. is in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, bam, all the cabinets yeah. open. Like, ah! I was like, oh, that I was good. I jumped like a foot yeah, in the movie theater definitely. when I saw that. That's what I was thinking, too, when I was watching this. It's like, man, I wish I'd seen this in the theater like mm-hmm. I had seen the first one. Right. Because I got really scared of the first one in okay, the theater. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> just especially with the part with like the footprints and stuff like that really freaked me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I kind of wish I'd seen this in the theater. Uh-huh. Um, I also wish I didn't watch it when it was still light outside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I think that <laughs> decreased the fear a little bit. But I still like, yeah, I jumped at that. I love how they made it look very realistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the only other thing that really bothered me was that Certain parts worked fine with the handheld camera, like when the daughter was running around that night and she was using the camera to kind of record what was happening mm-hmm. as like proof so she could show it to her dad and right, stuff. Right, right. So dad was being all stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like a horror typical guy, like, oh my God, like all these females. Or, yeah, exactly. You know, just finally, yeah, I didn't like the yeah. dad at all. <laughs> But there's um, there's a couple scenes where the sisters are talking to each other, having a very serious conversation, oh, uh-huh. like the one the wife is holding and talking to Katie, and she's like, "Katie, we're not going to talk about this, blah blah." I'm like, why is she recording this? Right. It, well, that didn't really make any sense. And yeah. she's holding it very still, so she was like probably holding it against her chest, and like so, like what our mother did to us or whatever. Mm-hmm. It um. It just didn't seem to make sense that she would be holding a video camera filming it. I agree, but that's also the stuff that you really need to see. Yeah, so. exactly. That's when I'm like, well, you got to kind of forgive it because it's needed in right. the movie. Yeah, so, exactly. but I always I look at that stuff I'm like, why wouldn't I? I wouldn't be recording that? Yeah. And then cannot. I was thinking too, like the kid is, unless it well, it wasn't there. 
I guess it was their first kid as a couple because he that daughter wasn't her daughter. It was right. like, from a previous marriage. Right, that but was her stepdaughter. Yeah. After the child is a year, like you really don't film so often all the time, like you do when they're a newborn. I mean, yeah. that's my experience, but of course, families can be different. So right. Well, I think didn't the daughter film a lot of it? She did some of so, it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that I just chalk up to her. Mm -hmm. You know. I want to film everything. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, what yeah. also kind of not ruined it for me, but made me kind of laugh at some parts because I saw the spoof of this movie called A Haunted House mm -hmm. um, with the uh, one of the Wayans brothers. Marlon Wayans. Yeah. yeah. And um, the house that he's in the movie is basically this house. So mm -hmm. the, the spoof that he did was more from the second movie that they were spoofing. Yeah. So I recognize yeah. a lot of the stuff with the pool and everything. Yeah. So. I saw <laughs> a part of that movie the other day and yeah. I could see like everything that they were pulling from. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but all in all, I did like it, though. I did I did get scared, and I did like how they tied it in, and I do want to see the next one. Um, Rob, all Rob said, I could see scene, he said, oh, in the third one, they explain about the, the whole mom thing. I was like, oh, that should be interesting. Yeah, I think the uh, the third one, um, it does it doesn't explain everything. I'll tell you mm -hmm. that right now. But it it does, you know, fill in a couple holes and stuff. And mm -hmm. that one's set when they're kids. So uh, right, so that explains the, or the hint they were saying about oh, what our mom did or something like that. Yeah, 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 kind of. So, yeah, like okay. Uh, yeah, I like these movies. This one, uh, I remember when I went to see it, I wasn't. I was like, this is gonna be a throwaway movie because mm -hmm. it was made so close after the first movie, and. Uh, I was actually really surprised because I enjoyed it. And mm -hmm. I like how they tied stuff in from the first one. And it also really helps if you watch the first movie and then watch this one like very soon after. Because mm -hmm. you pick up on all these little things that they threw in there that you're like, oh, wow, they actually you know worked that into the storyline and stuff. So that was, uh, that was pretty smart, I thought. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I like the third one, too. Uh, the fourth one is where it gets kind of crappy and they just, you know, it's just turning into yeah. like a cash machine kind of thing. <laughs> and who the hell knows? Because I know they're making a fifth one, but I think that's coming out next year. And I don't I don't really have any hope for that because, mm. yeah, this this last the fourth one was pretty crappy. I'd like to make my own paranormal activity at home. Oh, really? <laughs> just have a, like something happen to the cat. Like, I was say, yeah, well, you have cats, so that would work. <laughs> and you also have a staircase. Yeah. That would work. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah. That was pretty cool, too, about her being grabbed and she got loose and uh, grabbing yeah. it. Like, that was really mm -hmm. creepy. So. And then the... Um, the dog. I felt bad for the dog. Oh, you know how I feel about stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then also, what other parts creep me out in there? Uh, yeah, the part with you know with the all the cabinets and stuff that made me jump. What? Oh, I know. I'm just thinking of the part where um, he slowly grabs the baby and is pulling the baby up out of the crib, and the mm -hmm. baby's crying, and the baby's like floating in midair. Yeah, yeah. That, that I was weird. like, why aren't they checking these tapes? The, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then the two other parts that got to me, or I thought were done well, was when. It's not Katie. Was it Christy? That's her name, Christy, I think. Yeah, I yeah. Think so. When she's on the bed and the stepdaughter tries to say something to her or pick up the baby and then she like yells at her mm -hmm. and then she calls her dad. She's really upset. She's like, you got to come home. Mm -hmm. You know, Christy's acting all weird and all that stuff. So that I thought was done well because I thought the girl was a pretty good actress, the, mm -hmm. the teenager. And then also at the very end when Katie comes back and she just snaps the dad's neck like oh he's yeah dead right away and then at the end you read that you know the girl came home from her school trip and then she found mm -hmm. both of them dead so that's horrible <laughs> to think about you know from her point of view but yeah glad that's you good. liked it yeah good 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 thank you <laughs> good movie choice yeah yeah um the movie i watched i actually watched a foreign film so kicking Ooh. it up a notch yeah no not really um i watched it with uh what do you call it dub english dub because <laughs> mm -hmm. it was oh, a okay. french movie <laughs> And uh, it was called Inside. And I watched the unrated edition. So I don't know how oh. that, you know, compares to the R-rated version. But whatever. This movie started out really good. Um, it was pretty creepy. It's a, a pregnant woman. She's home on Christmas Eve uh, at night, you know. And Sounds this, too happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she's not happy. Her, oh, okay. She got in a car accident. And her husband or fiance, the father of the baby, died. So, oh. and she, she's going to, they're going to induce labor the next day. So she's going to have the baby. Yeah. And, um. So she had the car accident a couple months earlier. But anyway, so this woman comes to her house and she starts like, she's just staring at her from outside in the dark uh, with the, like, she can see her through like the, the sliding door. But yeah, like it was, it was set up well, it was kind of suspenseful. And then um, 
it got a, a bit over the top, I think, mm -hmm. and it just got a little ridiculous because, like, the, basically the woman breaks in and she wants to steal this baby that the woman's going to have. But it seems kind of stupid because she tries to, like, um, cut open the woman's stomach and, you know, take the baby out that way. But it's like, if she's going to be, if she's going to deliver the next day, why don't you just wait until she delivers the baby? Then you can just easily steal it. Like, there was a lot of stupid stuff. Like, why are you going out of your way and doing all this weird shit when you could just as well easily do this well, the other way? wouldn't it be harder to steal a baby from, like, the hospital than from the well, person's I mean, home? after she me. takes it home. Oh, okay. You know? Because yeah, okay. <laughs> she's just, she, just, she lives there by herself. And uh, this one woman like kills like four cops, and then like her friend that comes to get it. It's a, it, it it gets progressively like okay, whatever. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, and then there was this one part I thought of you, and I almost was tempted to call you and tell you to watch this movie, but then I thought about it and thought that'd be very mean and probably scar you for life. <laughs> the woman is sitting. She she's trying to get into the bathroom where the pregnant woman has escaped to. And she can't get in, and the pregnant lady's cat comes walking up oh, to her. Oh no, no, she, don't finish that. <laughs> She picks up the cat and is like looking all crazy and stuff. And she squishes the cat's head in her hands. So she like kills it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty gross looking. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, maybe thank you. And was the cat like curling up against her legs and stuff? Like, thinking, yeah, I think oh, it was like, human. oh, yeah, yeah. That's nice what breaks companion. my heart. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was very mean. <laughs> they trust you, you know, and then you hurt them. Yeah, <laughs> Which real bad. I did to my cat the other day because he was he asking for skull. food. No, no. <laughs> No, but like I, I was doing something to her, a meow, hiss, meow, mm -hmm. and then like my cat like gr uh, clawed my calf, and I realized I was stepping on his tail the whole time. Oh, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I'm sorry, and of course he runs off, like come back, I want to love you, I'm sorry, and he, like, like I didn't mean it. <laughs> so yeah, you always feel bad. So yeah. no, I definitely Oof. will never see that movie then. Yeah, yeah, I'm like this is not one for Vanessa. <laughs> But yeah, it started out good. And then, of course, like the key scene that you know is going to happen is the woman cuts open the lady's stomach and takes the baby out that way. But um, I mean, it's very gory and stuff. And like I said, it started out pretty interesting, but it just it just got really unbelievable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was OK, but not something I'm going to say anybody has to rush out and go see. So the meaning of the title is to have like a double meaning, like to get inside the house and then inside the belly. Yeah, you know, I guess so. Inside, inside the yeah. uh what do you call it? The uh, uterus? Yeah, wherever the baby yeah. is. Yeah, uterus, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So. Inside the stork's blanket. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's it, yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that's that movie. It's my mm. last horror movie. But whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are our horror movies. I'm trying to think, do you have, do you have, um, off the top of your head, can you think of one that stood out to you that you had actually ended up liking out of all the horror movies you saw? Oh, I'd have to look at a list of the movies I saw. I can't remember all the ones. I mean, the first one that comes to mind for some reason is The Thing. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, because <laughs> that, that one kind of like, it doesn't mean that I like particularly enjoy it, but it really stood out like mm -hmm. as a really interesting, like, good movie. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, and that's a fairly recent one too. Like we had a fair amount of weeks that we did this. Right, so. right, because yeah, it's been... I'm guessing eight weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, that stands out. I guess I'd say the, the thing. Mm hmm. Um, ones that stand out for me, I really liked Candyman and Near Dark and Maniac are probably mm -hmm. the top three for me. Like, same thing with you. Like, I, I watched quite a few, <laughs> mm -hmm. but those were the three that, like, just thinking right off the top of my head that stood out. So, yeah, that's what I would say. Cool. So, this has been a uh, very educational. Mm -hmm. yeah at least for me definitely <laughs> yeah 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 exactly so cool 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 but yeah we will be back to normal we'll have to pick regular movies for next week oh we're not going into our holiday just like regular um well i don't really have that many um holiday movies like you have a lot more than i do yes I do. so <laughs> yeah i only have like three or four i think so maybe after thanksgiving we'll start that or what yeah yeah okay. i mean yeah i would say so okay because that's the so end of november movies. Yeah. And then, yeah, so, okay. Back to uh, normal movies mm -hmm. now. Uh, what else did you watch? Uh, I watched The Heat. Yes, I, well, no, I didn't see the last, like, ten minutes of this movie, <laughs> but I did see most of it. But what did you think? Uh, I thought it was funny, just not as hilariously funny mm -hmm. as everyone was saying it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I definitely um, enjoyed their dynamic mm -hmm. as two different characters. Yeah, and yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, And yeah. how they kind of 
both changed their personalities. Like she was uh, Sandra Bullock's character was a really stiff, you know, FBI agent, yes. and then she was a really rough around the edges cop. And they and she kind of warmed up, and then actually both of them kind of warmed up in, yeah. in their own way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Warmed to each other, and I got a little uh, teary eyed. You didn't see the ending, but the very ending, how um, she sends her. Sends her a gift and basically brought tears to my eyes because they're both oh, really? like, you're my sister, basically, or something Aww. like that. Yeah, I oh, got, yeah something about her end. being a foster kid, and she's like, oh, I'm always going to be your sister or something oh, like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, I feel the same way. I think if it's, it's one of those movies, if I see it again, like, the more times I see it, the more I'll like it. Because mm-hmm. there was a couple things that made me laugh really hard, and I can't even remember what they were, but, like, just random things she was throwing out. But, well, both of them, really, yeah. were making me laugh. I really laughed at the, the club scene where she, like, cuts up her clothes, and then they go out there trying to get to mm-hmm. the guy to get to his cell phone. Yeah, And yeah, he's yeah. like, uh, what do you say? You're the first woman over 40 to, to turn me <laughs> on or something like that. And she's like, uh. She's like, uh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's 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 a, there's a couple of lines that made me laugh. So yeah, it was it was pretty good. I liked it. I did like Bill Burr in it too. Yeah, as her yeah, brother. Yeah. He was really funny. I mean, obviously had a minor role, but mm-hmm. uh, his his role was really funny. Like, well, look who it is! Like playing the smartass, basically. Yeah, which is, yeah. Uh, like who we plays the best. <laughs> I, I didn't know he was in the movie, so when I saw him, I was like, oh hey, that's uh, that comedian Vanessa yeah. likes. <laughs> <laughs> One of her favorites. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that movie. Mm-hmm. Thought it was pretty funny. Um, let me see. I I don't think I watched any other movies this week. Kind of late. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch any other ones? Uh, I did rewatch The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh I yeah, I, I did that too. that too. Yeah. yeah, I think everybody does that around. The yeah, Halloween. well, it's a good it's a good transition movie, you know, from yeah. the Halloween time into Christmas time. So yeah. And what's funny about that is I didn't see that as a kid. I saw it as an adult for Whoa, the first okay. time. So I didn't have that, you know, like a couple link. years ago or um maybe like six or seven years ago something like that so i okay. saw it when like you know in my how old am i i don't know saw it when i was like 18 around there or something like that <laughs> okay so but i do i love the music yeah yeah, yeah 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 especially That's at the good. very end when he serenades um sally oh, it? sally there we go <laughs> yeah. it's like stacy <laughs> <laughs> yeah which yeah i, I really like that movie be. it's cute <laughs> yeah. um and yes it does have very good songs Although the one that really gets on my nerves is probably the most popular one, the What's This song. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was singing one. along to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's color everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I like the one that he sings by himself. In the I think it's called like Jack's Lament or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one's a real, I, or I really enjoyed that song. Yeah. But whatever. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's really it for mm-hmm. me for movies. Now, see, I'm slow here. I can't remember. I know last week we talked about the Captain America trailer, mm-hmm. but have you watched the new one for X Men? I did. Yes. Okay. So, I know you what did you to. think? Yeah. Um, it obviously it looks good, but mm-hmm. I I need to watch it again because I got thoroughly confused about oh, what's going on. Oh, I mean, no. I don't want to give away too much because I don't want to say what I think is going on because I don't want to give it away what the movie. Oh, yeah, because that's the whole about. reason why I'm not yeah, watching trailers. Yeah, I don't want to give I that away. I do know that there's probably going to be something with time travel. Just oh, okay, because... that's what I was saying. Like, okay, it, it looks like somebody goes back in time okay. to their to a younger version of somebody else to stop them from I'm doing something. I'm <laughs> thinking Wolverine's going to go back in time to ding, see. Ding, ding, yeah, ding. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know, just, just guess in here. Yeah. That makes about... <laughs> that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> Okay. So, cool. but obviously it looks good. They just they again with these trailers they show so much. I'm like, wait, what? What? What's going on? Who's mm. this here? And then they show this person and this other person. And did yeah. they show Peter Dinklage, Tyrion Lannister? If they did, it was very brief. Oh, okay. I don't because I, I know he's going to be in the movie. So I was just wondering if they. I, I don't remember seeing. I remember seeing mm. um, the blue guy. Um, <laughs> the blue guy. Yeah. What's it? <laughs> the, the monster guy. Whatever his beast. name is. The beast. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or beast. Not. The no, beast. but it, he's his younger self, right? Because I didn't hear anything about Kelsey Grammer being in the movie. Yeah, the or younger them self. Casting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, man. I really, really want to watch those two trailers, but mm-hmm. I can't. So, oh well. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> I, I must say, though, just one last thing is how mm-hmm. awesome voices that both Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen have. They have great voices. Like, yeah, they're both yeah. Speaking throughout it was just like, oh, I love these guys. Yeah, they have 
awesome voices. Yeah. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> yeah. Um, movie news. I don't think there was really a whole lot going on. Do you have any Loki news? No, I, I didn't get to because uh, we're doing this early. I didn't yeah. get to do my, my research for this week. I've been busy too, like you. So yeah, just, yeah. Uh, my, I guess my obsession isn't that deep that I like. <laughs> I will much, say so. though, you should check the, the late night talk shows. He might be on one of them yeah. this coming week, right? Because isn't next... Yeah, right. he'll be promoting it. Yeah, yeah. So, so I would check, check. The DVR. Oh my gosh, that's that's next week. I yeah. need to see. Uh, I need to buy some tickets and get to the midnight showing because <laughs> I think it's Friday. You want to go with me? Uh, I I will try. Because yes. I have the day off, so I know oh, it'll be sacrificed right, right. for you. You'll have to work. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. Wait, crap. I was gonna say. Oh, I read that you can see like a five minute preview or the first five minutes of Captain America if you see Thor in three D. So Thor two or well yeah the, oh, okay. the new Thor. Said Thor. Well, well, I, I was just thinking about some. Excuse theaters. me, if you see <laughs> Thor: The Dark World. <laughs> no, because I was thinking how some theaters will do. They'll play Thor and then Avengers and then Thor two or something like that. You know. So yeah, I, was just I don't. Are they doing that? I haven't heard I don't anything. Know. But I, I, I wouldn't be though. surprised. I own those movies anyway. Like I'll watch yeah. them at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know they're doing that with Catching Fire. They're mm. going to play The Hunger Games and then uh, do Catching Fire. So well, whatever. Awesome. But yeah, that's yeah. next week. Uh -huh. So Yay. yeah, because there hasn't really been anything, you know, coming out that I want to see. I did want to see Las Vegas, so I'm kind of bummed I didn't get to go see that. But maybe I'll just go see that on like a matinee or something. Is that with the, those older actors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back? Okay, I think it looks funny. <laughs> it does look funny, yeah. <laughs> so and then I think. <coughs> okay. Uh, and then I think Ender's Game is coming out this week, mm -hmm. and again, I don't, I don't know, you know. That kind of looks like After Earth to me. <laughs> like something's going to happen with a kid and they're yeah. going to have a growing up moment and do something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I, I I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll see it if somebody really wants to go see it or something, but I yeah. don't really care. I'll, I'll wait till Redbox for yeah. that one. Yay, Redbox. Yeah, exactly. I love Redbox. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, um, that's all the movie news that yep. we have. Uh, moving on to television. So this week we've got something awesome going on. Uh, <laughs> Vanessa can now currently talk, or no, no, she can now talk about the most current episode yes. of Walking Dead because she's Yay, all caught up. I'm all kind of so <laughs> caught up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. So what did you think of this week's episode? Um, I'm trying to remember everything that happened with this one. Um, well, more Glenn thing. got sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is heartbreaking. Um, yeah. Not really digging that storyline. I must say, I mean, obviously we're going to be spoiling this, but I must say the whole time I definitely um, was thinking, okay, Carol did it. Carol did it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, they made that pretty obvious. Yeah. I hope yeah. that wasn't supposed to be a surprise because... Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty easy to call. Well, especially in that one scene where she kind of like breaks down and knocks over the water thing and she's like crying and mm -hmm. stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was kind of mad she knocked over that water. I'm like, yeah. I know you're in a, like a rage moment, but come on. That's very vital. And I don't know if it's because you mentioned it last week about you hope that um, Sean and Daryl get together, yeah. but I, I noticed like some sparks or something. I know. I'm really, I was really excited about that, actually. So I'm so. thinking it'd be like, you called it or something. You're gonna be like, you know, I don't even care. It. I just want them to do it. Yeah. So. <laughs> here's <hook> hoping <laughs> yeah no i just i think that'd be a badass couple <laughs> yeah but who knows um actually you know it's funny i you know i'm still enjoying the show and i'm not gonna not watch it and everything but i'm a slight bit bored um because like the only storyline that's going on is this illness flu, or yeah. cold or flu or whatever that's uh, attacking some people and I do feel like they need a shakeup. So I am thinking one of the semi-main people are going to die. Obviously, it can't be Rick. I doubt it would be Carl or Michonne. Daryl is kind of a wild card because he's not in the comics, but he's too much of a fan favorite, yeah, I think, to kill off. Yeah, I think off. people would be too pissed if they did So that. they could very well kill off Glenn or Maggie. Or mm. What is Maggie's sister's name? Beth? I think Beth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think they they seem or to be. Herschel. Yeah, I was gonna say they seem yeah. to be gearing it up to lose Herschel because they had the blood spray in his eyes yep. and stuff. I'm that's like, okay, what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think yeah. that's gonna happen. It's gonna be all emotional. <laughs> and oh, okay. Now what about Tyrese's sister? I don't remember her name, but she's uh, she was all coughing and had to get isolated and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but I feel like that would be too much for him to lose his sister and his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was his sister. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. I was I wondering mean, what yeah, I was confused just... about. It. Like, I didn't catch that from the previous, uh, I could, probably because I watched them so quickly. Oh, yeah. But um, I thought that they were a couple um, the last season. Oh. I mean, they never really showed that they were, but I thought they were. Um, well, so that's hey, why I was like, why is he with this girl now? You know, you know, you, you could be right. I, I, I was always under the impression that was his sister. Mm-hmm. Um, I could be wrong, though. So, sorry, okay. everybody. We'll figure that out yeah, later. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so, because I was like, why? Well, I thought they were a couple, and now he's with this other girl, and it was sad, and she dies. And, mm, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's it. You know? And then I knew he's kind of a main character, so I knew he wasn't going to die. Although it, mm-hmm. I would be checking. I'd be like, you need to make sure you don't have any bites because he was really close to all those zombies, mm-hmm. you know, when he was sitting by the car and then got out and then got, you know, they all came up on him. Yeah. I think Maggie's going to be knocked up. Oh, Like really? how she said at the beginning, like, oh, I know I'm not pregnant, blah, blah. I think mm-hmm. she's going to be knocked up. And then so if Glenn dies, then it's OK, because I don't know. <laughs> uh, no. no, she can lose the baby. I don't want Glenn to go. <laughs> Sorry not to be yeah. mean, but <laughs> and plus, I don't want another b- baby running around. Yeah, I think there's a uh, too oh, much that's of that true, going yeah, with on. that little Judith or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whatever her name is. Uh, yeah, it's Judith. I don't know how that's going to go on with. Uh, them, I don't remember the new guy's name, but them in the, they were in the car and then they got out and there was all those zombies. That's mm-hmm. that's, that's a lot of zombies. That I was like, oh crap! Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's quite a few. So who knows? But yeah, I um, and I think what we're this is the fourth episode, so yeah. Sunday's going to be the fifth. So we're a decent way through the season mm-hmm. now, and it just it seems like the only storyline that's going on is this illness. I hope mm-hmm. this isn't like the bulk. I'm I'm thinking maybe yeah. the first half will be the illness, and the second half might be the governor coming back. Mm, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I must say, I really am glad that they did show that huge horde of zombies because uh-huh. I was thinking uh, the other day when I was stuck in traffic <laughs> about <laughs> how many people there are in this world and yeah. like how they only showed like a lot of zombies in the city, like in mm-hmm. Like there's plenty of like smaller towns. There's a lot of people. Like where are all these zombies? And don't they, I, I think I remember them saying something about them like kind of hoarding together, like if they're mm-hmm. near each other or something. So yeah. it's kind of like a... I don't even know what you call that, but <laughs> so it would make sense that there'd be yeah. this big ass group, you know, coming through the area. I just wish they would take a page out of the 28 days later book and like have somebody who's immune to it or something. And that, that would be a step towards like a, a cure or something. You I know, can just see a, that coming on yeah. later, you know, mm-hmm. as the seasons progress or whatever. Um, I did start reading the books or the mm. comics or whatever they're called the graphic novels yeah, graphic novel. <laughs> whatever those things those the, the things that are on the paper <laughs> stuff on the things <laughs> yeah and i've read the first uh three or four and um right now it's just like the first first stuff that's happening in the first season mm-hmm. um like the first one, I was looking at it, and it almost looked like a storyboard for yeah. the the pilot episode. The way because it's 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 like a comic where there's you know dialogue bubbles and mm-hmm. stuff. It's not all text, so that I didn't realize actually. So when I started reading, I'm like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> I have a confession to make. Uh oh. I own a Twilight graphic novel. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it came with like when I purchased a book or something. They had they have a Twilight. They only oh. made one for Twilight though. But uh, is it like a spin on the story, or is no? It just... It's the same same oh, story, okay, just okay. Uh, illustrated and have been, But it, they look they're she's prettier, and, <laughs> and, it, was, uh, um, and it just uh, it, it was interesting. But yeah, I do own that. Oh okay. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I got these. Uh, my brother got them for me actually, but I got these. I don't know what issue I have up to, but I have quite mm-hmm. a few, and I have them on my Kindle. I don't have the actual. I don't have like a stack oh, of graphic okay. novels sitting in my room or anything. <laughs> um, but I also have a Kick Ass and uh, uh, what, what is that? Watchmen. Mm-hmm. So I have all these, and I I, I do plan on reading them, <laughs> especially Kick Ass because I really like Kick Ass. But yeah, the the last couple episodes of Walking Dead have made me more interested in the in t- to see how the actual story. Mm-hmm. you know started because i know it i know stuff changes and like i said i know daryl and i'm pretty sure merle aren't in the yeah. books at all so it'll be interesting to see what characters i'm rooting for and that kind of thing mm-hmm. so we'll see i'll i'll keep you up to get or up to i'll keep you posted <laughs> on that yeah, I, 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 I realized what you were saying yeah, yeah. <laughs> um speaking of uh kindles and books and stuff mm-hmm. i actually started rereading like what you did with uh catching fire oh yeah and like getting like chills reading it yeah like yeah. thinking about like the, at the very beginning uh, spoilers but <laughs> <the> very beginning <laughs> when they they go to uh district 11 or something like that where rue was and everything mm-hmm. how um they have the old man who does the whistle mm, and then as yeah. they're leaving they see the two of the peacekeepers grab him and shoot the guy in the head and front of everybody and yeah, like, oh, yeah. that scene gave me chills and just thinking and about it 
it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think she sees like Thresh's family or something yeah. too. Yeah. 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 And it's, um, I watched the new, the final trailer for the movie, mm-hmm. the one that they had during the World Series or whatever, uh-huh. um, a couple days ago. And yeah, man, I was reading, or no, reading. <laughs> I was watching that and it's, you know, nerding out here, but it was just like I envisioned it and stuff when I was reading the books. Yes. And yeah, man, I so made happy. the hairs on my arms stand yeah. up. Oh, I can't wait to see that movie. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited for it. And then they always have the whistle at the end. Yeah, too. and it's, that always gives me a chill. Yeah, every yeah. time. Oh, you know, it was funny when the me a chill. <laughs> <laughs> when back when the first trailer came out for the Hunger Games, uh-huh. you know, whenever that was, um, they had the uh, you could get. You could download the, it was, they just called it like Ruse Whistle or something like mm-hmm. that. So I downloaded it and I put it on my phone. So every time I got a text message, that would go off. Mm-hmm. Everybody was like, ew, what is that? It's so creepy and like sad and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> then everybody saw the movie and they're like, oh, oh that's what that whistle was. Oh, they oh, caught oh, up. They yeah. got on the bandwagon there. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, see, morons. Mm. <laughs> what a maroon. I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but whatever. I mean, yeah. Though, so that's good. You're rereading it. Cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, in a timely manner, too. <laughs> yes. yes, I am. Because it's, it's a quick read, so it's, it's mm-hmm. not like it's going to take you a long time to finish that or anything. Yeah. But yeah, so we're both back into reading. Good. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I, I keep trying to get into Wicked, but it's, just, it's not <laughs> holding my interest, so I'm just going to pause that in, I indefinitely. I have a theory with that. I think what? it's because you're not reading it on your Kindle, right? It's an actual no. book. Mm-hmm. Maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I was reading it on my lunch break at work and stuff, but mm. it's it's... Maybe I think I'm just still in like a boring part. Like Elphaba is still a baby right now Mm -hmm. and it's her mom, but her mom like hates her and is all vain and shit. And it's like, I don't, I don't care about anything that's going on. Right. So like if it, if it was further along, I'd probably be okay with it. But for right now I just, it's boring. So yeah. (laughs) Speaking of baby, didn't uh, a recent star of a show that you like uh, come out as being pregnant? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Carrie Washington, mm-hmm. who's on, actually, I think Scandal's probably on, well, no, it's ended now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Carrie Washington uh, announced that she was pregnant, which I, I, I love her. I think she's a great actress, mm-hmm. and she's gorgeous and everything, yeah. and she keeps her private life private, which mm-hmm. is all smart, but what it is is she's going to be on Saturday Night Live um, Saturday, and Obviously. she didn't want people, <laughs> well, you know. Could be Saturday Night Live on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> this coming Saturday. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and she didn't want people speculating about her stomach because she's starting to show. Baby bump. So that was smart. <laughs> she headed it off early. Mm-hmm. But yes, congratulations to her. Yes. I'm really wondering if they're going to put that storyline into the show. Mm. Mm. Haven't they filmed like most of this uh, this season already? I don't like know. Maybe they put it into next seasons or something? I don't know, only because that show... There's like 22 or 24 episodes mm-hmm. per season, so I don't know exactly what the filming schedule is. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Because I know with True Blood how um, she was uh, expecting twins, and somehow I think she was starting to show a little bit at the end of the one season. Yeah, and she then was by standing the, behind couches. Yeah, and stuff by the all beginning the time. of the next season, she had already had them and stuff. Right, so, oh, but sorry. I mean that—that's also that's only 12 episodes. Mm, yeah, it's less than half or about half. So who knows? Yeah. But I'd be interested to see. So mm-hmm. who who knows? We, we shall see. <laughs> but congratulations to her. Mm-hmm. I also read, I don't really watch Saturday Night Live anymore. I don't really find it all that funny. Yeah. But I missed it the other day. And I'm kind of pissed off because I wanted to see the musical act. It was uh, Janelle Monet, who oh, I really like mm-hmm. her. But I didn't see it. I'll try to catch it on YouTube or something. I'm sure they'll have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, November 16th, I think, I read that Lady Gaga is going to be the musical uh, number. And she's going to host it. So oh. I need to watch that episode. And then the week after... After little Mr. Peta, um, Josh Hutcherson is going to be on there too. So oh, I'll check out those two. Yeah. yeah Talk so about raising the guests. ratings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then Carrie Washington this week, I'll DVR that. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they're funny. Mm-hmm. Um, but the last couple times I've watched Saturday Night Live, it has not been all that funny. <laughs> Do the hosts usually like participate in some of the skits too? Yeah, they participate oh, okay. in almost all the skits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that should be interesting then. Yeah. 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 That's why I want to see all those. I'll have to uh, DVR that too then. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, um, let me see. Any other shows? Sleepy Hollow is on like a hiatus. For yeah, the next I guess so. I'm not sure two, why. I think I have no idea. Um, actually, starting on I think the fourth is that um, Almost Human. Oh, so really? That starts. Yeah, oh. I gotta make sure to set that to DVR too because that looks really good. Yeah, Carl I keep Urban forgetting about that, and then yeah. I'll see a commercial. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that looks interesting. I want to yeah, check that out for, for that, sure. Yeah. Hope it's good. 
It, you know, it could go either way. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see what else. I was very not happy or was very displeased to find out that the Mindy Project did not have a new episode last night. Oh. Or not last night, the night before. But whatever. <laughs> it must be because of the holiday. <laughs> You'll or... survive. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it. Well, see, Sons was new, so I was okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, good old Sons. Still chugging away at that and craziness going on there. Um... Any other shows? No, not that I'm watching. New. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm still watching The Blacklist, but, uh, I mean, you don't watch that, so kind of whatever. Same thing with Homeland. Still going. I, I, Yeah, I don't know about that show. Yeah. Not really liking this season. Oh. And it's only the third season, so come on. <laughs> Pick it up. Yeah, yeah, Wrap exactly. It up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, so, yeah, I guess there's no really any other TV shows. <laughs> nope. So moving on. Um what what movie did you want to watch for next week? I figured since I just watched, I, I did say, I did tell everybody last week that I'd watch Paranormal Activity 2 and mm-hmm. 3, but since I didn't round the 3, I'll just watch it next week. Oh, okay, good. That'll yeah. round out the trilogy for yeah, you. Yeah, and then I'll be done. So. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Then you can no start more your, scary uh, movies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you can start your fun movies. Yeah. Um, I'll make sure to pick all fun, happy movies for you yes. for the next couple <laughs> weeks. <laughs> and then, um, well, I'm going to go... Way off in the other direction, and I'm gonna finally watch Dances with Wolves. Oh, please do! That's yeah. such a great movie. Now you have that, right? Yes. So I can borrow it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Oh, Ugh. it's so good. And this is like the director's cut too, so it's a lot longer. That's the only mm. thing to keep in mind. Like maybe you could see if it's on Netflix, but I doubt it. But uh, because I <laughs> grew up already watching... like a three-hour movie. Yeah, it's already long. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I grew up watching the 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 main cut and mm-hmm. I, I honestly think that's better than the director's cut. I mean the director's cut helps explain a couple things but it's not totally necessary. I was gonna say that that happens a lot where you yeah. watch the director's cut or the unrated cut and you're like, well, that wasn't like this. Yeah. yeah. That's why they edited all this crap out. So yeah, exactly. I kinda wish I do have I kinda wish I did have the the edited one for you. It doesn't maybe, have both? Maybe it does. I gotta look at it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll check Netflix anyway, but regardless, whatever. That's what I'm going to watch for next week. Depending on the mood you're in, you may cry at it. I know that I cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be honest right now. Um, like Saturday, I've got stuff going on. But Sunday and tomorrow afternoon after I get off of work, mm-hmm. I am not doing shit. <laughs> I am just laying about the house Kicking in my heels. pajamas. Yeah. Drinking some beer or whatever, <laughs> eating some, some pizza. Red apple ale. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I am going to take it easy because this week has been terrible for me. Mm. So I just want to relax. So, yeah, I may cry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it has but a good love story, has some sad moments, and just the thought that this is kind of like a true story because what happened to the, you know, American yeah. Indians and everything. So, um, it's, it's it's an epic movie and the, the okay. score too john barry does the uh uh-huh. the musical score oh i have that on my on my ipod that's it's a so popular good. score right yeah i feel like i probably like i'll recognize the music because yeah. they probably have used it in other movies or mm-hmm. something and so. you'll finally figure out why um i always go like when i think for some reason if i say the word buffalo i say tatanka because that's oh. what they call them oh that. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny so <laughs> Like, cool. <laughs> so we're all set for next week. Yep. And now you're going on a little mini vacation. Yes, but I am. We'll be back. I mean, like we're I'll not going to take a break. Time. We'll be yeah. back by Wednesday. So okay. Yeah. Cool. Where are you going? I'm going to St. Augustine. Ooh, the oldest yeah. city in the country. Yeah, I'm going to see some old monuments and some old churches. And uh, you got to go to the Fountain of Youth. Yeah, and uh, they have a like a spooky night tour or something like that of all the supposedly haunted places. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was. Uh, a good thing to do since we today's Halloween, you know, yeah, so be right yeah. after Halloween. So I said, yeah. Well, there's definitely some old ass buildings there, so yeah. that place is ripe for that kind of yeah. stuff. <laughs> so that's good. I well, hope I'm you. Excited, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now that's a little bit further up north, right? Yeah, that's like uh, I think it's we calculated out about two and a half to three hours. Hmm, okay. From, well, uh, hopefully the weather well, cooperates for you and everything. From my parents, it's two and a half, through, so it's probably three and a half from okay. From well, where we're at. So I hope you have a good trip. Thank you. Take <laughs> lots of pictures. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that, that I want to hear about that ghost tour when you get back. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, that should be fun. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so for next week, uh, you've got Paranormal Activity 3. Mm-hmm. I've got, hopefully, the theatrical cut of <laughs> Dances with Wolves. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, uh, yeah, next week we'll be back like normal, watching our normal movies. Yeah. So, in closing... Whoa. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, oh. In closing, if you would like to send us an email. <laughs> can't keep that up. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to send us an email um, with any movie rec- recommendations or criticisms or blah, 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 any of that crap, uh, it is damselsindebate at gmail.com. And you can also uh, give us feedback on our website where you can stream all our episodes at damselsindebate.com. You can find us on iTunes and you can also review us and rate us there and subscribe and get all the episodes, you know, was it instantly downloaded to Mm -hmm. your phone or whatever, whenever they get published (laughs) once Uh a week. (laughs) And we're also on Stitcher and where else are we? Oh, we're on Facebook and Twitter Mm -hmm. also. Just look for Damsels in Debate. And yeah, we'll try to get those pictures up on Facebook too. So that way you guys can see our awesome costumes. Yes. And we had two sets of costumes, too, because we had a little Halloween party on Saturday, and then we had uh, our costumes today for actual Halloween. We should ask them to put down who's, uh, what was their favorite. Like, they like Tina's better or Vanessa's better. <laughs> Always trying to change it into a uh, battle Competition. Here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, regardless, the pictures will be up online, so you guys can check them All out. Right, and let us Let's keep it nice. <laughs> let us know what you think. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything, right? Cool, and hopefully I'll know some more Walking Dead storylines for you, and you'll get further along mm-hmm. with Catching Fire. So until next week, once one more time, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. 